Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul who dedicated himself for the formation of the clergy and in service for the poor. Let us pray in this Mass that we may imitate St. Saint Vincent's holiness and charity. Let us now beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endow the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that afire with that same spirit, we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born. The night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth? 
come forth from the womb and expire? Or why I was not buried away like an untimely death or untimely birth like babes that has never been seen? The light. Wherefore, did the knees receive me? Or why did I suck at the breast? For then I should have been laying down and been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest. With kings and counselors of the earth, who built where now there are ruins, or with princes who had gold and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from trembling, there the weary are at rest. Why is light given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death and it comes not. They search for it rather for hidden treasures, rejoice in it exultingly, and are glad when they reach the grave, those whose path is hidden from them, and whom God has hemmed in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord, my God, by day I cry out. At night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, and who are cut off from your care. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Please stand. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? 
Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, not everyone will always be for us. Not all people will always agree with us. Not everyone will always take our side. And this is the truth of life. There will always be those who will oppose us. There will always be those who will not agree with us. And there will always be those who will reject us. Even Jesus was rejected. And this is what we see in our gospel today. Jesus was going to Jerusalem and they intended to pass through a Samaritan town. But the Samaritans did not welcome him because he was a Jew and he was going to Jerusalem. They did not allow Jesus and his disciples to enter their village. And so James and John, two of Jesus' disciples, reacted. They told Jesus, Do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? That was re their reaction in the face of opposition. They reacted with angry judgment. They reacted with violence. They wanted revenge. Matupok na wasila ng apoy dahil hindi nila tayo pinadaan. But Jesus simply journeyed to another village. He did not say a word against the Samaritans. In the face of opposition, Jesus simply remained calm, patient, and charitable. Oppositions may come from outside, from other people, but it may also come from within ourselves. And this is what we see from Job in our first reading today. After tragedies struck him, he lost all his livelihood, he lost all his children, and he himself got sick. In the face of all these tragedies in his life, Job falls into self-pity and even despair. The opposition, the struggle came from within. So much despair and self-pity that he wished that he were never born. He said, Curse be the day I was born. My dear brothers and sisters, how do we face oppositions? How do we deal with people who do not agree with us? How do we deal with irritating people? Do we deal with them like James and John? Do we meet violence with violence? Do we meet opposition with revenge? Or do we react like Job? We go into self-pity, despair. Or do we react like Jesus? By remaining calm, by being patient, 
by being understanding, by being merciful and loving. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, who lived in France in the 16th century. He founded the Congregation of the Mission, or what we now commonly know as the Vincentian Fathers. St. Vincent dedicated his life for the formation of the clergy and for the service of the poor. He and his group was well known for their service to the poor, especially in Paris. St. Vincent de Paul said, It is not sufficient for me to love God without loving the poor. He also said, I belong to God and to the poor. In his life, despite his good intentions and mission, Vincent also encountered many oppositions. Many doubted his intentions. And these external oppositions also led him to have an inner struggle. But Vincent remained steadfast. He did not allow anything and anyone to hinder him from doing his mission of serving God's poor. My dear brothers and sisters, today in this Mass, let us ask God for the grace so that in the face of opposition, we may remain calm. So that face to face, in front of irritating people, we may be patient. And with our enemies, we may be merciful. Please stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That the sick in mind or body may have permanent healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son who makes all good things possible, we ask you for the grace to follow him always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
with Saint Vincent and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.